Okay, well, good morning. This is our, what, second morning? Second morning. It's beautiful out here. Second night, second morning, and we ran out of water already. So, the last video you saw us filling up water was just yesterday afternoon. Yes. <laughs> we filled, we uh, flushed the tanks and stuff, so a lot of water went down the drain. But I just wanted to make another video of us doing this again because we got water last night. These are both full. And um, I screwed these down already. We're gonna put more water in our tank. <clears throat> we took showers, which was awesome. So that was good. And today, no wind. So we are super happy about that. Um, you want to take this off and then pull these screws up. Bolts. Open this. I'll grab my multi tool. So this morning I got my drone out. Oh, geez. Water's kind of murky. Well, they probably, you know, turn their well on. Let's see. I wonder if all the, <clears throat> the turning. Well, that was the I first time they dust. used. Well, that's the first time they used their well too. No, that well, it would have flushed out with this one. I think it's the stuff that was inside it. But anyway. Um, <clears throat> The, what was I saying? I was going to say something about... What was I going to say? <laughs> You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> I think it might be the dust or the dirt, but then... It gets clearer <clears throat> underneath. But it should have been settled, you know, overnight. Mm -hmm. But we rolled these off the back of the truck. Sorry we didn't get this on video, but <laughs> it was scary before the sun went down. Mm -hmm. And these things are super heavy. What, 55 gallon tanks? Something like that. We rolled them down with the ladder. Yeah, the ladder, and then I put the wheelbarrow underneath for support and the strap holding them in. I think these are. I think they're 55 gallon tanks, 50 gallon tanks. And um, we rolled them down, so I don't know. Just want to do the math on how much one gallon of water weighs. <laughs> almost, one almost took me out. Leaves out. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, we have filters for this, so it should be fine once we run it through our filters. And I'm, I don't think it's harmful to, to, to uh, for the shower, so I think it'll be fine. Yeah, we filter our drinking water. Yeah. Yes. Um. Pumps, I'll go over here, show you. Our gauge doesn't work, so we have to check inside there. Okay, good, it's filling up. That's going fast. The camera actually gets Oh, wow, it looks better, yeah. yeah. So we'll just do this. And I put some foam around it so nothing can get in. So once that starts splashing, we know it's full. It keeps nice and warm all night. It was down to 35 last night. Right now it's around 45, 50 in the sun. Pretty nice and calm so beautiful right now i think we gotta shut the water pump off how's it coming we got about a quarter of the way left quarter way okay we even lost it. yeah about a quarter the left. overflow pipe is right by the pump so okay so you'll know yep there is the overflow perfect Okay, Let's take this off. Oh, 
Open flow, 20 liters per minute or 5.5 gallons per minute. Nice. There it is. What we should do is this. It cleans out the pipes. There we go. So, I've got you on a little tripod. <clears throat> Doing some projects around the property. We got our water in there. It's afternoon now. We did a few things. We're uh, cleaning up the debris and stuff. So there's an old uh, mortar from when I first put this up in November. a place for screws and tools and all that. See how quiet the generator is? Yeah, super quiet inverter. So this thing is a little wobbly so I put some more screws in up here. All the way around. Now I'm gonna go into the shop when I say shop, I mean the cargo trailer. Where's the brake? She found it. So I'm gonna set up my solar again, but I'm gonna, I still gotta think about what I wanna do here. I want to set it up like I did before, but different and better. So I'm getting some progress done in here. I've got the two by fours holding this thing down. This is the 12 volt inverter. Got my batteries in there. And I got the MPPT solar charger hooked up. So the solar can come through this little hole in the ground where that foam is. And also, I've got to run this DC wire for the pump so we can fill up water again. We've been filling up water every, this is our third time in one week. <clears throat> we need that one, that one, and that one, and that one. Yeah, here's it, ready? <laughs> So it looks like we've got battery, and uh, just give it a minute, and uh, we should probably have power coming out of this here pretty soon. Yeah, we got power. <laughs> oh, life is good. We got power. We got lights. So now all we need to do is pull the get the solar, hmm? and then we can pull our plug our trailer in here. Yeah. That's great. Using whatever mounts I I have so these are solar panel mounts from a different set which are smaller so it doesn't quite come up the, the side all the way so I use them on this one so I'm, I'm gonna use them on this one but I went to Home Depot or to the big box store not Home Depot the other one and um, got these these are just for framing so I'm just gonna put these on for the next one. I'm gonna use these instead of like a dollar a piece and these are whatever more.
Lisa has a side job, not a side job, her job job. So that's why she's not helping me right now. She just came out to take a break. I'm so excited we got it all plugged in. These are my readings. Um, this little sled here went a little wonky, but it's still tight. So I'm gonna just pull it straight. I don't know if you can see that. There we go, there we go. Let's see, that's a little wonky, wonky. But yeah, our solar panels are gonna work. The weather changes here so abruptly. Well, we got it all wrapped up. Yeah, it's crazy. Here's the workspace. I love my new bench. I have to put uh, braces under there and some plywood under there so I can put tools under there. But yeah, I'll work on this later when the snow passes or maybe it's too late for the day, but I have to check the clock. Yep. Generator, All right. This is a great little tool. Couldn't have done it without it. It's so easy. Just to start, press the button. It's up top. 